this point in the season, you feel like? I don't know. It's up to Brett. Okay, we are joined by FS1 <laughs> yeah. NBA analyst Chris okay. Hassard. Yep. All right, uh, some interesting comments. Chris, can the Celtics be fixed? It's interesting that the two flagship franchises of the NBA are both in drama, <laughs> full right? drama. All yes. right, yes, though, undoubtedly. I am still very high on these Celtics. Really? I don't care Very what, high? Meaning I give them a shot in the East. I don't care what the record says. They are one of the top three teams in the East. It's Milwaukee, Toronto, and Boston all on one level. Philly, I know you guys. I think you like Philly. I, I, we both. I think you do, <laughs> right? I, do. I said it when you guys were on vacation, and I'll say it again. There is absolutely, positively, no way Philadelphia will beat Boston in a playoff series. They got the you Sixers so? number. Hmm. They've beaten them 17 of the last 20 games. Yeah. And I, as much as I like it, I've said it on this show, I love Simmons and Embiid. They're not mature enough yet not to beat that team. Well, they got Jimmy Buckets. You love Jimmy. Jimmy Butler's not a leader. We've seen that. I mean, when he's in the locker room with young kids, it's disruptive. And Tobias hasn't been in that position as a leader. So they don't have a leader. And I think Brett Brown's a good coach. He is. But Brad Stevens outcoaches him when they play. Okay. We saw that last year. So I think that Boston is very fixable. Now, they, they got some issues. Uh, what I'm told is that the problems are really on the court. Like, it's not like the guys really dislike each other. Kyrie's kind of close with Jason Tatum, close with Terry Rozier. Like, so I think the relationships are fine off the court. It's just everybody accepting their roles on the court. I, I think two things have to happen for them to fix this. One, Kyrie has obviously struggled with leadership, right? First, he went on the calling out the young players route. And then... He went to the using LeBron as a prop route, right? To he get did. them to I, see, you know bingo, what I'm saying? Right? Bingo. Like, look, I was where you at. I understand, but, you know, follow me. Then he went lead by example, which was good. He averaged 30 and 10 for he a seven game stretch he, or whatever. He's been really good as a. Yeah, he's playing to rip. Yeah, last he, night, you could just yeah. throw out the whole mess right. of it. Okay. Now he's going, obviously, the no comment route. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, no so comment. he's struggling with leadership. I think Kyrie needs to go to Brad Stevens. Mm -hmm. And, and say, look, I want to have a players-only meeting. So don't do it behind his back like it's just the players versus the coach. Tell Brad, I want to have a players-only meeting. Meet with your teammates and say, look, I was wrong for putting our dirty laundry out in the media. That would help. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm learning just like all of us, you know. From this point, and I apologize. From this point forward, let's keep everything in-house. Let's not, we're not together you know, guys don't like each other or, you know, all that. Because that does make it worse. Because especially sure. today, in today's media climate. But I, even if you didn't air it, I saw you got on dirty clothes. So I know mm -hmm. something going on. Mm -hmm. Who's seen it? Nobody. Yeah, we, saw we it. only know it because they all said it. We see the way they play it. Something ain't right. Regular season. They, they, here, okay, so that leads me to part two. I think Kyrie needs to say that. Part two. This is the problem with the players on the court. Jason Tatum has gotten better. Jay individually. Jalen Brown has gotten better individually, and now they're playing more like ISO guys. Mm -hmm. Like, they want to get theirs, I whereas agree. in the past few years, yeah. it was, let's do what Brad says. I know. And it was one guy. Mm -hmm. It was Isaiah Thomas, and everybody else do what you're supposed to do. Right. Kyrie, right. and everybody else do what you're supposed to do. And what they have, maybe Ainge needs to say something, or Brad, look, I get, you, you guys are better. You can do more things. But Jason, your stock, Mm -hmm. around the league or uh, you were viewed as better mm -hmm. when you were just doing what you were supposed to do. Yep. Jalen Brown definitely mm -hmm. has seen his stock drop. Terry Rozier. So let's play our role. You're going to get shine if we win. Right. Even if you're only scoring 16 mm -hmm. points a game or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's very fixable because Brad Stevens is a whether he can handle superstars is a question. It is. Mm -hmm. But I think it's fixable. I'm not saying they'll win the East. I'm just saying they definitely better than Philadelphia, and I think that they – Milwaukee and Toronto just may be better, but I think they can get to the second round and have a mm -hmm. shot to win the East. Mm -hmm. For me, I think his expectations are catching up with him. Everybody just assumed they went to Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals without Kyrie, without Gordon Hayward. And as you mentioned, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Terry Rozier, shine. 
Okay, now Kyrie and come. by the way, no Isaiah last no, year. No so, Isaiah. Yeah, right. Okay. right. And, no, and Kyrie yeah. got hurt, what, February, March. Yeah. So you played the last mm -hmm. stretch of the regular season. He did. Season in all the playoffs without Kyrie. Mm -hmm. Now Kyrie comes back. All those shots that Jason Tatum was taking uninhibited, Kyrie right. getting them. Jalen Brown goes from being a star to playing 35 minutes a night yep. to coming off the bench. Oh, wait a minute. Kyrie, you interfered with my shine. People started talking about Jason Tatum legit. Mm -hmm. Jason Tatum, I say in two, three years, Jay Taylor going to be an all-star. He's going to be a superstar. That ain't what they're saying right now. Mm, that's and, not how it looks. Yeah, and yeah. everybody was talking, oh, Jason Tatum is this and mm -hmm. Jalen Brown. Are we sure? That the package that Boston can put together with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown better than the Ingram and Kuzma? We can't say that right now, can we? Can I'm we, not going to say that. Can we say that? Uh, I think you can say it. How? Tatum. All I, I know, know, all Chris, I know, Ingram and what? I think it's arguable, but I give you, it's yeah. arguable. But, well, last year, that would have been a slam dunk. Right. Boom. Guess what? Jason Tatum last year averaged, guess how many? 14 points a game. Not not like 24 points right. a game, 14. This year he's up. he was in. Okay, he right. was. But this year he's up to 16 points right. a game, and he looks worse than he did last year. Okay? And, the, and you Go know ahead. the big, Brad Stevens, skip, uh, Brad, uh, uh, Brad Stevens, uh, uh, Chris, the thing that we know about coaches, if you look at the coaches that's won a lot, a lot of, and some of them are great, and I'm not, not taking anything from Pop, but if you look at Phil Jackson, I don't know if it was coaching or him being able to handle egos. To right. Totally because agree. <laughs> no, it was all it was all, it was the, all a mix. That, right. That's the yeah. thing. Right. So now Brad Stevens, with Brad mm -hmm. Stevens, when he coached at Butler, dude, you getting one star recruits. <laughs> they ain't got no egos. Butler was their only choice. Right. You ain't got to deal with what Coach K and John Calipari and Roy mm -hmm. Williams and Bill and Self and Kansas got to deal with. So now you come in. You got Kyrie. Mm -hmm. Ky Remember now, Kyrie said he wanted to go on his own and be his own boss. Yep. So now Kyrie coming with that mentality, I see what LeBron had, I want that. Right. I see what KD, I see what other superstars get. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kyrie need that too. And these other guys, they bucket. They're like, bro, we went to game seven. I'm surprised one of them hit him with that Draymond hit, <laughs> hit KD <laughs> with. We were winning before you got here. Bro, we went to the Eastern Conference Finals. Mm. We played all through the playoffs without you. Mm. And now you come back here and monk up our chemistry. Mm -hmm. We ain't having it. Kyrie gone. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, Uncle Drew. I agree with that. Kyrie gone, Chris. I, I think there's still a chance quickly that he could. Let's see how it plays out. <laughs> I, I do think he's going to end up leaving. But I don't think Boston is totally out of it. That's all I'm saying. Everybody in that locker room thinks the leader, quote unquote, is yes. out the door, right? That's why they take a shot. Yeah. Why would you not do everything you possibly could to make sure, hey, man, you know, hey, Kyrie playing unbelievable, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, it, we was close the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. Well, Kyrie only been there two years. Yeah. When were you close? When he been there? That's what mm -hmm. I need to know, Chris. My bottom line, I my takeaway right now on February 27th. Seventh. Shocking mess, unfixable mess. I do not see this team beat, and right now as it stands, they would have to play Philly without home court in round number one. I don't think they could beat Philly. Philly arguably has the best starting five in basketball, and I'm not sure about the bench, but I, I'm sure enough about Embiid, Ben Simmons, JJ, Jimmy Buckets. Mm. Tobias. I'm sure enough, and Tobias. I'm just sure enough they could beat a very troubled Boston Celtics. And I agree with you. It doesn't feel off the court. It feels on the court deeply troubled. And it starts with the one star that Brad Stevens did have at Butler named Gordon Hayward. And I have never been a fan. I wasn't a fan before the draft. I was dumbfounded at the hysteria over his free agency you. two years ago. Like, what are you talking about? He now makes $32 million a year to come off the bench for the Boston Celtics. That's troubling to that locker room. 30, you don't think they all look sideways at right. Gordon? Not that he's a bad guy, because he's a nice guy. And he's not, as good, as, he's not as good as Tatum or Jalen Brown. Not, oh, come on. Don't, what, that, that how, how would you him. even put him in the same sentence That injury with robbed him, him Chris. Hey, th $32 million to, wow. to average 11 points and five rebounds a game. He started 17 of 51, so he mostly comes off the bench. That's a problem. Kyrie is a problem. He's still the best closer in basketball. I, there's nobody I want to see with the ball in his hands with 30 seconds left than that guy. That guy That's is... That's why I give him, okay, still give him okay, shots. Okay, you, you could be right, and I'll give you that much, but he is no leader. Mm. That
that's he's not a you, you're born to lead you're not chosen you can't appoint yourself and he tried to appoint himself and it did not work in this locker room and I liked what Isaiah Thomas said. I'm not talking about the new one, but the old one, oh, the big, Hall of Famer. Big Isaiah. The big Isaiah, right? <laughs> Last night on TNT. He said they don't enjoy playing together, and they just don't. I watched the body language. There's no joy in it whatsoever. Last year, the ball moved because they were all kind of interchangeable parts, and it was all fun. And Terry Rozier would come in and be scary Terry and just light it up. And they got in a rhythm and a rotation of, this is your role, this is your role, you get to do this, you get to do this. And the ball would just fly around. They played defense at the hot, weren't they maybe yeah. one of the best the defenses? Tops, not, yeah. Right? They're still top okay. five. They're top five, but they're not, they don't play with that edge they played with on defense last year. And now that you think Kyrie's going to be out the door, you're just like, Eh, let's let's just get this over with and go on to next year. Mm -hmm. I think at its soul, this team has torment and trouble, and it's on the court, not off. But but to me, I would not trust them going into a series against Philadelphia. And again, I like Flair in the East, and I give you Greek Freak, and you've been on Milwaukee's bandwagon from. The